Hi, welcome to my YouTube watercolour channel. I'm Karen Rice. This is an easy step-by-step -step watercolour pencils tutorial of a beautiful pink lotus. Here are the materials I'll be using. For a full list of materials with Amazon links, please see the description. Here is the gorgeous reference photograph I will be using, but I will be just concentrating on the flower itself. Here is the outline. I've actually drawn it with one of the pink watercolour pencils. If you'd like access to my drawing sketches for the paintings, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Just click the link in the top right hand corner and it will give you more details. The great thing about using watercolour pencils is they are very accessible, easy to use and fun. And you've actually got all the sort of colours already there if you get a large selection of them or you can just layer on top as well. And I'll be doing some of both. But I'm just putting on a little bit of yellow, just sort of very sort of gently sort of blending on in the centre of the flower and just sort of in the middle of the flower as well. I'm going to build up with the watercolour pencils. This is kind of my first stage using pinks, reds and violets and some greens for the stem and the leaves. And I'm just putting the pinks mainly at the top of the petals where it's darkest and just giving a little bit of pressure and pressing hard where I want it darker.
So this is the next stage and I'm using my size six round brush and just teasing the watercolor pencils, bringing them to life and just sort of working at the top edge of the petal there and just sort of get the paint moving and then just using water to push up against some of that paint. And I wanna keep the light at the bottom of the petal. So don't bring the wash down towards the center, push the water up towards the top, otherwise you'll end up with a very flat looking petal. So as you saw there, I finished painting my leaves and stem. I blow dried my painting and I'm reapplying some more pinks, reds, violets and blues just to make the sort of the top edge of the petals a little bit darker so that it really pops those petals out. So I'm just working my way around each petal just to kind of build up those darks and details.
So I've blended all my darks with my size six brush and I'm just using some sandpaper there and rubbing it against the pencil to allow the pigment to drop onto the damp paint to create some really nice textures. And I'm just using my size six brush with the water now just to build up the dark on the right hand side of the stem there. I've got a little bit of yuppo paper there, but you could just use a little plastic tray or anything there just to rub on some of your watercolour pencils and then use it like you would water, um, the watercolour pans. And I've just mixed them together to create some dark. So I've used some blue and some violet there and I'm just glazing that on some of the petals to create some of the shadows just to bring the lotus flower to life and I'm using some of the pink now and my sandpaper and scraping that on to the damp petals and I'm just going to finish off now by using my pink watercolour pencil just to put some markings in on the petals, the veins, just to kind of add those final bits of details to bring the lotus flower to life. If you're like me and you lost a little bit of your light, just use some white gouache and just glaze it onto the lighter areas of the petals and it'll bring it back to life. And I'm just going to give it a final little spatter with some white and pink. I'm actually using the pencil and rubbing it with my size six brush to get some of the pigment off the pencil to spatter. The white paint that I used was Winsor & Newton's permanent white gouache from a tube, just to let you know. But there we are, one last little spatter to finish the painting. I really hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial. And if you'd like to watch longer tutorials with lots more voiceovers, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Details about that can be found in the description below and you can cancel any time. If you'd like to watch my latest videos why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and for any comments or questions about this tutorial please put them in the comments section below I would love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching, happy painting, bye for now.